Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Sports Federation TV. Every week we talk about sport in the Western Cape across the six districts and the various sport codes in their federations, all of course structured and organized according to the model for sport in South Africa. Now, uh, tonight we're going to be taking a look at the, what's happening in the world of transplant sports. We'll talk about Western Cape Chess. They've just recently had the Western Cape Chess Championships. We're going to find out a little bit about mountain biking, and uh, we're also going to uh, speak to Sarah Broad. She's the president of Women's Golf South Africa. They're um, up at Silver Lakes, where they are busy with the Interprovincial Championships. But in studio with me now is uh, Renshala Rue, the chairperson of Transplant Sports Western Cape. Renshala, first time in the studio with you. First time. Thank you, JP, for having me. You've been, in the you've been on air with us many times, but of course all online. Yes, every time online, so first time in the studio. So I've got to ask you then the very first question. How did you get involved with transplant sports? Okay, so I, after I had my kidney transplant, um, I read about transplant sports. Uh, I think it was a Facebook page that I came across while scrolling, and I contacted the SA Transplant Sports Association, and from there, yeah, started training, um, took part in my first national games, and yeah, from there on, it just escalated. And I got involved. Did you do, did you do a sport code before your transplant? Um, no, not really. School level sport, a little bit after school, yeah. then I got married, had kids, um, yeah, and only got uh, involved with sport after the transplant. And then, of course, you went on to win a whole bunch of world championship medals. Uh, I won a few, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> just tell us, I mean, you, you, yeah. did you, if I remember correctly, you won world championship for running, uh, swimming. Um, no, 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 I didn't do swimming. I only do the track and field events. So track and field, yeah. Yes, yes. So I do the 100 meters, uh, javelin, ball throw was at my first games. That was in Spain, in Malaga. Um, and then I went to uh, the UK, Newcastle, uh, in 2019. And there I also won, uh, came first in the javelin with the new world record. I came second wow. in long jump, second in 100 meters. <laughs> Okay, Ranger, so tell me a little bit about transplant sports now in the Western Cape. Obviously, we know that you've got the South African Transplant Sports.org website if people want to get signed up. Um, anybody can join. If you've had a transplant, you can become a member of Transplant Sports, right? Yes. So if you had a solid organ transplant or a bone marrow transplant, you can uh, join as a full member. And then family members can also join as members, but they will be called associate members. Do the family members have needed a transplant? Or no, no, no. You're just no, like a supporter? No, just as a supporter. As a supporter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So big stuff on the cards for you guys. You've got world championships again now, uh, next year, That's in April, yes. uh, I believe in Australia. Yes, yeah. So we had our national transplant games in Kaberga yeah. uh, during Ju uh, July. And um, people that uh, qualified there had to requalify, which ended up now the 20th of September. So um, yeah, the the team that will be uh, representing South Africa at the games in April in Perth, Australia, will be uh, yeah they they will be selected next week. Okay, and you've got some uh, obviously there's uh, some fundraising things that you guys are going to be doing. I believe you've got a golf day coming up. Um, at Bosch and Mir, is that right? That's correct, yeah. On the 21st of October, Western Cape is hosting a uh, golf day yeah. uh, for Ball Alliance to raise necessary funds for our athletes to be able to participate at the World Games. So this is for them to, as fundraising for the, That's for correct. the golf day. So how do I get involved in that if I want to play golf? Not that I'm going to be joining <laughs> this now, but um, is it... Uh, is it open to the public? Yes, uh, definitely open to the public. So if anyone would like to participate, sponsor, um, they can contact me. Um, yeah. I don't know if I can give uh, my we'll contact we'll details. Get yes. Or they can email me at chair at wctsa.org.za and I will um, send them the relevant info. So you've got fundraising specifically now to raise funds for the Western Cape athletes to go to the World Games next year. That's correct. Um, what do they do uh, from now until then? I mean, obviously, we'll find out next week who's in the team. Um, but do they then continue to train and get ready for next yes. year? 
Yes, it's very important for all our athletes to keep on training. You must not think that you made the team now and now we're done and you pitch up at the airport. So yeah, yeah <laughs> very strict. I'm going to keep an eye on yeah. everyone. They need to, yeah. Do transplant athletes need specific coaching or is it the same type of coaching as the code itself? Yeah, no, it's, it's a, the same type same? Um, of coaching, yes. Yeah. So w which are the more popular codes? I mean, which are the ones? Is it track and field? Is that the easiest to do? I would not say it's the easiest to do, but I think it's the pop, uh, the most popular yeah. um, sport code. Um, usually, all the World Games end uh, the last day is the track and field, which keeps us busy for the whole day. So yeah. So one of the things in sport is the they call it the family connection. Everybody knows each other around the world. You can travel around the world. You meet athletes that are doing the same sport code. Maybe go train with somebody. Sometimes there's these international exchanges do you guys from a transplant sport perspective do you have that sort of international community yes certainly yeah we do um it's always nice if you pitch up at the world games and then you see um each other again so yeah you, you become like family yeah um and um it's nice they support each other yeah. Uh, it, it is a competition and obviously you want to win and you want to get on that podium but yeah. they're very supportive so is, is, awesome. is it like is it like most sports like you don't really talk to each other before the competition but then afterwards it's okay no we're not like that <laughs> we talk to each other <laughs> so yeah. who are the t who are the top countries who are the tough challenges um, i mean you know you said you went to spain you went to newcastle those are the sort of recent world champs yeah. uh, uh, who are the who are the top competitors that you've got to go head to head with well, if I, if I think back to Spain, um, the USA and UK usually bring large teams. Um, if I'm correct, uh, United Kingdom had over 300 athletes wow. in their team in Spain. We went with a small group of 52 mm. um, and we came third. So the standard to be selected for yeah. South African team is very high and that's why our team usually does very well. So talking about teams, obviously you guys in this case are Team Western Cape. How is the Western Cape doing when we go to the nationals uh, and compete? And, and have you got any more sort of interprovincials coming up? No, we don't have interprovincials. Like for the track and field, we have uh, track and field events, yeah. which is organized by Western Province. So we usually ask the athletes to go and participate there, keep fit. Um, get yeah. used to the competition um, setting. Um, so, yeah. But you've got transplant sports also in the other provinces, the Eastern yes. Cape, KZN, and Gauteng, and so yeah. on. Yeah, we've got three other Eastern Cape, KwaZulu Natal, and Gauteng. Yeah. So, I think they do the same. Yeah. yeah. But we try and train together. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. So, Boshemir, um on the 21st of October, this is your next fundraising. Yes. Is there going to be other fundraising? things uh poiki course competitions or or fun games like this we haven't thought about yeah, a poiki course competition but yeah there is more stuff in the pipeline so yeah. our management committee is having a meeting next week and we'll discuss more options to raise funds yeah that's fantastic Rancho, you guys do an incredible job um hopefully everybody that's watching right now will also spread the word that if you've had a transplant that you can join transplant sports south africa and and compete in sport yes please visit the website see what we do come and join us there we go there we go folks uh Rensch larouche is the chairperson of western cape transplant sports um lots of uh lots of fantastic initiatives there and of course one of the big initiatives now is the fundraising for uh, team western cape which is part of the south african team to go to the world championships in australia next year they've got their golf day then on the 21st of october and um, um i think that uh, you can see at the bottom of the screen here the website where you can get in touch with rancher so that you can um, maybe donate to the transplant sports organization or even book a uh, four ball to go and play uh, at the event at Boshamir and raise funds for Western Cape Transplant Sports. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking sport in the province. Don't go away.